What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is Aichi Badass bringing you a video talking about the most recent skip that has been discovered in Undertale, especially for speedrunning. You can use these casually too to beat the game if you would so choose, but I highly recommend against it. So, what this skip is, this is the punch card skip, where you get the punch card is the second encounter that you have with the nice cream guy in Waterfall. Well, he gives you an option that every single time you buy a nice cream from him, you're actually able to get a punch card. With the punch card, you can effectively use it as a portable lab skip. If you don't know what the lab skip is, I will be highlighting that. It's already highlighted a short 15, 16 second clip that you can find in the description of this video. But as you can see clearly, some of these skips are just redonkulous. They are very easy to use. How it typically works is I press Z and the letter C simultaneously. Z is for confirming, C is for opening up my menu, and by having the punch card in the first slot, it makes it so that I'm opening it up, activating the punch card as fast as like humanly possible while barely trying to move over triggering a cutscene. Any cutscene that can be triggered, you can punch card. Now there's some cutscenes you don't want to do that. You get something what's called a soft lock where you're not able to move and the game just like freezes essentially, and it just ruins the run for a speedrunner. Somebody more casual, less terrifying for you guys, but, you know, a mistake like that can cost us, essentially, the entire speedrun, which is really not awesome. Um, but there's there's a lot of skips. I mean, just for the neutral route alone, which is approximately 70 minutes long, um, typically speedrunning it like Jenna Neutral, which is a genocide route going into neutral, you're looking at somewhere around like 20 punch card skip opportunities that you can trigger during the entire run, and it is, it is definitely worth it. It is most certainly worth it. Prior to the punch card, the world record time was 64 minutes and change. Now the world record time for completing a neutral run is just under 63 minutes. It's 62 minutes and X seconds. So it's shaved off effectively 2 minutes and it is easier to get a a top 10 neutral time, I would say now, with the punch card, because this is about execution with the punch card. It's about your timing. It is about doing the punch card skips effectively as to the best of your human ability. Now, if you fail, however, the punch card, then your chance of succeeding in the run goes down the drain. But anyways, guys, I hope this video was informative. I hope that you like it. I am an Undertale speedrunner primarily. I live stream six days a week. And please like the video. Consider becoming a subscriber and stay awesome. Bye!